Hi there, and welcome to 10.6. Today we're going to take a brief look at the structure of the Acumen Maturity Framework. We have here a pictorial from Deltec depicting the basic structure undergirdling all of Acumen. This is all three modules taken together. We begin in S1, the base. This is the original critical path method schedule of unknown quality and realism. We also have not considered schedule compression opportunities at this stage. S2 critiqued. The schedule is rigorously reviewed using Acumen Fuse metrics. Areas needing improvement are identified. Schedule changes are made in the original schedule software program or directly in Acumen S1. The exit criteria for this stage is a quality schedule as per Acumen recommended analysis all conformity to industry standards. S3 – Risk Adjusted The uncertainty of duration and cost estimates are considered. Risk events, including both threats and opportunities, identified. A risk event can be a positive and something good to happen to your schedule that may decrease the duration and or cost. The exit from this stage is a realistic schedule outcome. S4 – Optimised The schedule compression opportunities are investigated using 360 tools. The output from this stage is a fully optimised schedule whose final layout has support from the project technical expert. And finally, we come to Team Aligned – S5. The final stage is to present your health certified, risk adjusted and optimised schedule to team members and stakeholders who have an increased confidence in achieving the schedule duration and cost targets. Again, the Acumen Maturity Framework. Here's another overview of the stages. We begin S1. Again, a non-validated schedule imported into Acumen S1. In S1, we can review schedule details or make changes to a scenario copy of the schedule. S2. The schedule quality inspection and schedule modification iterative process are implemented. In the S2 phase, you can also benchmark your schedule. That is, compare your schedule to an Acumen Cloud database of actual similar schedules rated by their quality and potential for success. S3 – Risk Adjusted Here, uncertainties are identified, project threats and opportunities are listed in a risk register, and mitigation of risk events is considered. Optimised S4 Optimization scripts are written in S4. Acceleration scenario is generated in either S4 or back in S1. Finally, S5 stakeholder validation. A dashboard with portlets displaying overview analysis or fuse metric group analysis provides a visual depiction of the final quality confirmed, realistic and optimised schedule. Reports and spreadsheets can also be generated in all stages S1 through S5. If you'd like to learn more about getting up and running with the latest scheduling tools, then 10.6 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running. For more information, visit our website at 106.com for full details on how to get started.